Hi folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com. Today we're going to go install, I'm going to show you how to install the latest um, Jelly Bean 4.1.1 leak on your Galaxy Note uh, 10.1. Uh, this is the international version. Um, this is the one, the GTN 8000. If you don't have this one, don't please don't try it. Uh, first, what you'll need is, um, what you need to do is uh, if you're already rooted and you want to keep all of your apps, make sure you use Titanium Backup app to back up all of your apps. Um, and uh, you know you can use SMS Text Backup app for backing up your SMS text messages, and also all your photos um, on your Galaxy Note 10.1, uh, all all the you know all your internal storage. Go ahead and you know make a backup just in case you might have to um, do a factory reset. So let's try this. Let's try to install this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my my Tap 10.1 into download mode. So go ahead and power off first. All right. And when it's powered off, you're going to go ahead and hit the volume down and the power button together. All right. And let go when you see that warning screen. And then hit volume up. And you'll be in download mode, right? Then connect a uh, micro USB connector to your your computer, all right? And, and let's go to our computer. Next, you'll need to download these two files: uh, n8000 blah blah inu. Uh, this is the actually the um, the stock ROM for India. So you need to flash that and then do a uh, update. A, this is an OTA update. You put that in the root folder of your Note 10.1. Um, so let's flash this first, and also you will need Odin. So go ahead and download uh, Odin v185. If you download it, unzip it, um, you'll get these two files. All right. Go ahead and run Odin. And then, and then you'll want to um, choose, don't do anything else, just choose PDA down here, PDA. And you're going to choose uh, this file, this file here. Also, you have to unzip it um, to get the tar file. So go ahead and extract it, and uh, extract it, and this will extract um, the actual actual uh, stock ROM. So basically, what we're going to do is uh, install the Indian uh, stock ROM, and then we're going to update it with the uh, Jelly Bean update, which only works for the Indian version. So you'll have to do this. So I've got the Indian uh, version. There we go. Should be a tar.md5. Go ahead and choose PDA. Don't touch anything else. And go to where you have the folder, or for, for the file. I have it here in my Note 10.1 in that folder where I just unzipped it. And that's the tar.md5 file right there. So open. And then um, all you have to do is hit start. And this is basically the same method as unrooting. Um, so it's basically going to unroot your Galaxy Note 10.1 to Indian uh, firmware. So I will be back uh, when this is done. So Hi right, folks, so it's almost done here. Now if you're coming from a custom ROM, um, something that's not near the stock ROM, then you might have to do a factory reset. Um, I'll show you how to do that also. But uh, my, once you get past, you should be done. If you get any errors, uh, the first thing you should try is if you get stuck on like modem.bin, try uh, another USB port. Try rebooting into the download mode, same process. If you, if you don't even get this boot.img, that, that means you probably don't have the drivers installed. Uh, make sure you have the drivers installed. So, um, let me switch the camera angle real quick. Hi folks, so my Note 10.1 is uh, rebooting. Um, I'm getting Android does upgrading. If uh, for some reason, if, if, it, if you get stuck here, you can do a factory reset um, in this step. I'm going to show you here. I'll show it to you a little bit later. Um, and also, we're going to reinstall Clockwork Mod Recovery so you have 
a clockwork model recovery and also we'll go root it real quick um, all right so I everything the same actually I, it didn't happen since whatever I, I was on high on Android uh, ROM train wreck ROM and it's pretty much compatible with other stock ROMs uh, but you will notice I did lose uh, root here probably lost root so anyway let's go to the next step of uh, connect it as a disk drive to your computer now all right all right next I'm gonna go ahead and close this up um, I don't need this go back to the folder uh, go back to where you downloaded the uh, stock ROMs blah blah dot zip this is the actual jelly bean updates that's gotta be applied um, so go ahead and do copy and copy it to uh, your GTN 7000 um, put it I'm not sure if you I think you do need a micro SD card so do put it on your card so I'm gonna put it on my card here and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it this will copy the actual update which is about 300 megabytes and then we're gonna get into stock um, stock recovery where we will do uh, we'll just update it and see if it works without us do, doing a factory reset um, again it's, you shouldn't have to do a factory reset because if you do factory reset it's gonna also erase the contents of your internal storage so that's why I told you to make a backup of everything before you do this just in case um, so I'll be back when this is done Alright folks, so, so that's done. Let me change the camera angle uh, and uh, let's go on with this. Alright, next what we're going to do is uh, um, I've rebooted and everything is working fine here. I'm going to reboot into stock recovery and install the update. So go ahead and power it off and hold down the volume down, oh volume up, sorry. Volume up. Hit, hold down the power button for like two seconds until you see the logo. Let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume up button, just like that. And uh, you should be in stock recovery now. Um, there we go. And uh, since I've installed Indian, so my CSC changed to INU. Um, so here we're gonna go to apply from uh, external storage. Hit the power button and go find the file uh, that you copied over earlier. I forget where I copied it over. So hold on. Did I put it in download folder? Yeah, I did. Um, so there is, there is a stock ROMs uh, blah blah dot zip. This is the actual Jelly Bean update. Hit power button, and this should upgrade you to uh, Jelly Beans here. All right. And uh, if you know, if you get any errors, what you can do is instead of using the stock recovery, you can reinstall Clockwork Mod Recovery using Odin, just like you did when you rooted. If you rooted your Note 10.1 before, and then do a factory reset using Clockwork Mod Recovery because that one does not erase your internal storage. Um, so we'll use that method since also we'll be rooting our uh, Jelly Bean here. Hi folks, so it is done now and uh, it should be all good to go and simply reboot. Um, you can go go back up, hit that button up here and go all the way up or just, you know what, simpler way, just hold down the power button. <laughs> it's simpler. Just hold down the power button and your uh, tap, no, Note 10.1 should now have um, jelly beans on Indian firmware. And we did not have to do any kind of, uh, you know, factory reset yet. And uh, if I don't, then I get to keep everything. So that's that's a good, you know. And uh, my recommendation is actually, you know, if you're gonna do this, you can just well, you, you should be on one of the TouchWiz ROMs. If you're coming from like a CM10 ROM, definitely you'll need to do a factory reset. Or you can do a factory reset before you start doing this whole process in clock ROM recovery. If you're on a custom ROM, um, that's the easier way to go. But uh, looking great here, and I'll be back when this boots up. I'm hoping it boots up. All right, folks. So I've got it booted all the way. If you got to this point, you should be all good to go. And uh, you can see 
Uh, it's upgrading the system, and I'll be back when this is all done. Hi, folks. So I'm back. I've got all my apps, and uh, let me check the version here. Settings. Um, everything working flawless here. Uh, about device. Android 4.1.1. Let me check if it's the real one. And boom. Ooh, nice. So I've got it installed. Actually, I didn't have to do any factory reset or all that stuff. So if you're coming from a TouchWiz based ROM or any of my uh, train wreck ROM, should you can follow this method and get it all the way here. But now let's go root it again. Uh, we'll have to reinstall Clock for my recovery. So go ahead and turn it off. Power off. And hold down the volume down and the power button together until um, you enter into download mode. And then hit volume up when you see the warning screen. You can also follow my method on my site. I'll have a link to it actually, because I'm gonna try, try to do it kind of quick here. Um, but I would just want to prove to you that it works. So go ahead and connect it. Let's go to our computer. Next, you'll need to download Root Galaxy Note 10.1.zip, uh, and then what you'll need to do is run Odin v185. Also, um, I'm assuming you already have this copied over to your Note 10.1. If you didn't, you can copy it after this or before, either or. So I'm going to open up v185 again, uh, which is part of that that thing, the, the folder. Go here, choose the high on Android um, v1 recovery.tar. Here we go. Uh, let me go find the file here. And I'm going to flash the, the clock remote recovery again. Simply going to flash it. And what you can do is as soon as that finishes, hold down uh, volume up and uh, power. And then boot straight into clock remote recovery. I'm not going to even change the camera angle here. I'm just going to keep it. I missed the beat there. So I'm going to hold it down. And when that goes up, I'm going to hold down the volume up. That should be in clock with my recovery. Oh. Oh. If that happens to you, we can try it again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it into download mode again. And what you can do is a quick. Um, there we go. Volume up. And uh, let, me, let me go reinsert it. We can do is reflash it, but uh, check off auto reboot. All right, do that, and this will flash it. And what happens with the newer software updates is that uh, uh, on, upon reboot, you know your custom recovery will get uh, written over. So now I'm stuck in this state. Go ahead and hold down. We're gonna go straight into clock for my recovery. Hold down volume down, and the power button. Oh, sorry, volume up with the power button. Wait for it to reset. See the logo. Let go of the power button. And you should now be in clock for my recovery. And I know some of you are having trouble, so I might as well show it to you here. And then we'll just go install zip from SD card. Um, choose zip from SD card. And we're going to go find the file, the CWM blah blah dot zip. I think I put it in my main folder here. There we go. Right there. Choose that. Um, go to yes, and there we go. Go back, reboot system now. And uh, ROM may flash stock recovery on boot fix. Yeah, fix this. This will actually fix um, the issue where you're losing the clock on my recovery. And we're all done. And uh, let me change the camera angle. There we go. You should be now in Jelly Bean, um, and Super SU should be installed. And you can update the banners if you want. Okay, you have full root. Jelly Bean also. Jelly Bean now comes with Google Now installed. So it's part of the ROM. San Francisco Giant Score. I know. San Francisco Giant Score. The Giants beat the Cardinals 7 to 1. Alright, and also. Also, there we go. Let me change that. And uh, looks pretty good now. So go ahead and try uh, updating now. All of the stuff I put in my train wreck ROM now is on uh, Jelly Bean um, automatically. Most of this, I think, most of the stuff. So you should be all good to go. And let's go take a quick look at, at the gallery. See if um, see if it changed anything. I don't see much changed here. Eh, 
Anyway, I'll have a full review of the uh, Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean for your Galaxy Note 10.1, um, the 3G version, the GTN 8000. Anyway, that's how you do it. And also, if you want to um, do a factory reset uh, for some reason, you can do the step where I went into the clock with my recovery. I'll show it to you again. And you can do a uh, wipe data factory reset in there. Um, turn it off and hold down volume up hit the power button and let go of the power button when you see the logo but keep holding down the volume up to get into clock remote recovery this time it will not erase since we we had that option too um, so now what you can do is um, go do wipe data factory reset go down to say yes and this will uh, most likely get you your your tap or note 10.1 boot it I'm not gonna do it since I don't wanna do that but there you go um, that was a flawless installation of installing Jelly Bean uh, without losing your data. If you're coming from a stock ROM or high on Android tri train rack ROM or any TouchWiz based ROM on the N8000. Anyway, thanks you guys. If you like this uh, video, don't forget to hit that like button for me here, subscribe button up there, uh, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And uh, I gotta go to the beach, but uh, if you have a Galaxy Note 10.1, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week stuff like this tips hacks and more also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble with your tablet and uh, stay high on Android and I'll see you guys later oh.